Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about tangents and secants of a circle. So a tangent line to a circle is a line coplanar with the circle and intersects it in one and only one point. So the point of intersection of the line and the circle is called the point of tangency. So as you can see in the figure, the line uh, CD, so yung line CD natin, that is a tangent line. And point B is the point of tangency. So, remember, pag sinabi natin tangent, so, at exact one point lang, no? So, isang point lang ang tatamaan niya sa circle. A line that uh, mag intersect sa circle at exactly one point. Postulate and tangent line. So, at a given point on a circle, one and only one line can be drawn that is tangent to a circle. So, to illustrate, consider the circle A, no? Consider the circle A in the illustration. If circle A is the point of the circle, no? Is the point of the circle, then one and only, no? Pag sinabi natin, then one and only one line can be drawn through that is tangent to the circle, So again, uh, pag sinabi natin postulate and a tangent line, so rem as you can see in the illustration, since meron tayong circle A dito, yung point B natin, yung point B natin, so ibig sabihin yan, that is the point of tangency, na meron lang tayong maduro na isang line, and that is a tangent line on a circle. So, here are the different theorems on tangent line. So the first theorem, if a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So meron tayong illustration dito. So as you can see in the illustration, if line AB is tangent to a circle C at point D, so then it is perpendicular to radius CD. Theorem number 2, so if a line is perpendicular to a radius of a circle and it's a end point that is on the circle, then the line is tangent to the circle. So let's say the line AB is a perpendicular to radius CD at point D. So then it is a tangent to circle C. Theorem number 3, if two segments from the same exterior point are tangent to a circle, then the two segments are congruent. So, yung exterior point natin dito is yung point A. So, in the illustration, if yung line BA natin, uh, yung line segment BA natin, and DA natin are tangent to circle C, then BA is congruent to DA. Okay? Common tangent. So, ano naman kapag common tangent? So, a common tangent is a line that is tangent to two circles in the same plane. So, meron tayong dalawa. The common internal tangents and then the common external tangents. So, when we say common internal tangent, so, it intersects the segment joining the center of the two circles. So, kagaya ng nakikita nyo sa illustrations, so, yung line J and yung line J and yung line K are the common internal tangents. So, again, pag sinabi natin common internal tangent, intersect the segment joining the center of the two circles. Pag sinabi naman natin common external tangent, so it do not intersect the segment joining the center of the two circles. So, based on the illustration, yung line M and N natin are common external tangents. So, tangent and secant, so segments are rays that are contained in the tangent or intersect the circle in one and only one point are also said to be tangent to the circle. So, as you can see on the illustration. So, pag sinabi natin secant, so a secant is a line that intersects 
a circle at exactly two points. No? So, hindi yung tangent natin, nag-intersect siya, yung line natin, nag-intersect sa circle at exactly one point. Yung pagkaiba na, uh, pagkakaiba ng secant natin, nag-i-intersect siya sa circle at exactly two points. Yung kagaya nga na sa nakikita nyo sa illustration natin, so, a secant contains a chord of a circle. So, yung uh, QR natin, that is the line of our secant. So, tatanda yung pagkakaiba ng tangent and secant. Sa tangent, isang point lang ang uh, intersect niya sa circle. Pero kapag secant, dalawa. So, theorems and angles formed by tangent and secant. So, meron tayong five. First, if two secants intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arc. So, so based on the figure class, yung line BC natin, line BC and line DE are two secants. So, since uh, dalawang point yung din uh, nag-intersect yung line natin, ng dalawang point so ibig sabihin secant to ganun din yung DE natin and then intersecting outside the circle at point A so yung point A natin is the exterior point and then yung arc CE natin and then yung arc BD natin are the two intercepted arcs of angle C A E again so yung Arc CE and Arc BD are the two intercepted arcs of angle C A E. Okay, so paano daw kukunin? So kapag kukunin natin yung measure ng angle C A E, that is one half of the difference of Arc CE and Arc BD. So for example, meron tayong if the given measure of arc C is 140 and then yung BD naman B, uh, yung arc BD natin is 30 so kung kukunin natin yung angle C A E so kunin lang natin that is one half the difference ng dalawang arc natin so yung measure ng arc C E natin that is 140 minus 30 and that is 110 one half of 110 the answer is 55. So, the measure of angle C, A, E is equal to 55. Another theorem on angles formed by tangents and secants uh, is if a secant and tangent intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arcs. So kung kanina sa unang theorem natin, meron tayong dalawang secant na nag-intersect in the exterior of the uh, circle. Dito, meron tayong isang secant at isang tangent na nag-intersect in the exterior of a circle. So sa figure na to, meron tayong isang secant at isang tangent. So, na nag-intersect out uh, in the exterior of a circle. So, yung la uh, in DP natin, so yung line uh, this will be yung line DP natin that is a secant, no? And then yung line AP natin that is a tangent intersecting outside the circle at point P. So, yung point is the exterior point. So, yung arc AD natin and arc AB, so ito yung arc AD and arc AB are the two intercepted arcs of angle APD. So, ito yung angle APD natin. So, again, sabi dito, that is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arcs. So, let's say, kinukuha natin yung angle APD. So, pag kukunin natin, that is one half the difference of the measure of arc AD and arc AB. So, for example, uh, the given measure for arc AD, so ito yung arc AD natin, is 186. And the given measure for arc AB is 70. Then, kukunin natin yung angle APD natin. So, kagaya dito, nung binagit ko kanina, that is one half the difference of the given two arcs. So, therefore, 
uh, to find the measure of angle APD, so substitute lang natin yung arc AD natin, that's 186, minus the measure of arc AB, that is 70, and 186 minus 70 is 116. Get the uh, 1 half of 116 is 58. So therefore, the measure of angle APD is 58. Another theorems on angles formed by tangents and secants. So, sa unang theorem natin, given yung dalawang secant na nag-intersect sa in exterior on the circle. Sa pangalawang theorem natin, isang tangent saka isang secant. Now, ito naman sa theorem number 3 natin, meron tayong two tangents intersects in the exterior in the uh, do -do doublet lang no in the exterior to dapat okay again if two tangent intersects in the exterior of a circle then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs so kagaya ng nakikita niyo sa figures meron tayong dalawang given uh, dalawang uh, tangents na in, nag-intersect in the exterior of a circle. So, in the figure, so yung line PM natin or yung line MP natin and line MR, that is the two, uh, yan yung dalawang, two, yung dalawang tangents no, na, na nag-intersect outside the circle. So, yung arc PQR, so itong nakared na to, na And then, yung arc PR natin are the two intercepted arcs of angle PMR. So, kagaya sa nauna natin na theorem number 1, 2, at itong pangatlo, kapag kukunin natin yung angle PMR, so kalahati din siya ng difference ng dalawang intercepted arcs natin. So, therefore, let's say we have the given measure for arc PQR that is 250, And the measure of arc PR is 110. So, kung kukunin natin yung angle PMR, so ito, yung PMR natin, so that is one half the difference of 250 and 110. So, 250 minus 110, the answer is 140. Minus, ah uh, no, 100, one half of 140, the answer is 70. So, therefore, The measure of angle PMR is equal to 70. Okay, another theorem, we have if two secants intersect in the interior of a circle. So again plus, dun sa tatlong nauna lahat nag-intersect yung secant, given the two secant line, and given one secant and one tangent, and given two tangent sa exterior of a circle. Dito, sa pang-apat na theorem natin, if two secants intersect in the interior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the sum of the measure of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. So, one half the sum, no? the sum of the measure. So, kanina, difference kasi yung um, ki, ki, ang sa theorem number 1, 2, and 3 natin, no? lahat half of the difference of two intercepted arc. Ito naman sa theorem number 4, since nag-intersect no? in the interior of a circle, yung dalawang secant natin, no? so therefore, kapag kukunin natin yung angle form, that is one half the sum of the measure of the arc intercepted by the angle. And it's vertical angle. So therefore, so if ah if line BC, so the line BC natin, sa anyan this one, no, and line DE are two secants intersecting inside the circle. So the arc BD natin, so as the arc BD, the arc BD and arc CE are the two intercepted arcs of angle one. So it's the angle one natin, okay? While CD and EB, so ito yung CD natin, arc CD and arc EB, and are the two intercepted arcs of angle 2. So kung kukunin natin yung measure ng angle 1, again, that is one half the sum of the measure of intercepted arc. 
So, kagaya nga, pag kukunin natin yung angle 1, so, 1 half times the sum of arc CE and the measure of arc, uh, arc DB. O, oh, ganun din kapag kukunin natin yung angle 2, no? That is 1 half the sum of arc CD and arc EB. So, for example, class, if arc C is 100 and arc DB is 120. So, again, so yung arc CE daw natin is 100, tapos yung arc DB natin is 120. Then, kung kukunin natin yung angle 1, so that is 1 half times the sum of 100 and 120. So, 100 plus 120, that is 220. 1 half of 220, the answer is 110. Another, uh, it, arc CD is 80 and arc EB is 60. Then, kung kunin natin yung angle 2, that is 1 half of 80 and 60. So, the sum of 80 and 60. So, 80 plus 60, that is 140. So, divide 2, the measure of angle 2 is 70. So, this is the last theorems on angles formed by tangent and secant. So, if a secant and a tangent intersect at the point of tangent C, okay, again, if a secant and a tangent intersect at the point of tangent C, then the measure of each angle form is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, based on the figure, we have uh, yung JK natin, that is a secant, and yung MN natin is a tangent intersecting at point G, where uh, yung point G natin is the point of tangent C. So, yung JK natin, so yung arc JK, ito class, is the intercepted arc of angle in JK, while GLK, so yung GLK, is the intercepted arc of angle MJK. So, ito yung MJK. So, sabi daw, kapag kukunin natin yung uh, measure ng angle MJK, that is one half ng measure ng intercepted arc. So, kung kunin natin yung angle AJK, that is one half times the uh, measure of arc JK. And then, kapag kukunin naman natin yung angle MJK, so, that is 1 half times the intercepted arc ng MLK, or G, ano, GLK rather. Okay? So, for example, yung JK natin, yung arc JK natin is 170. And then, kukunin natin yung angle NJK natin. So, NJK is 1 half times 170, and kalahati ng 170, that is 85. Kung kukunin naman natin yung, let's say, the measure of GLK, so may given measure tayo ng arc GLK, that is 190, then kukunin natin yung angle MJK, so that is 1 half times 190, so the answer is 95. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.